Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadows of the Damned. Let's continue, shall we? Eh, we've just... Oh, okay, this is a bit interesting. So, we've just found out that um, ice cream, strawberry, shit cake, brain freeze. What's that say? Hairy cherry and ice cream. Hairy cherry. Now, <laughs> that makes you uh, think of certain things. Uh, especially when it comes to these demons. Why don't I like this? Oh. There's the chainsaw guy, I guess. Looks like a VIP. Very important pendejo. Something like that. <laughs> Fleming gives his favorite soul special treatment. People okay. who exited the world of the living in style. Okay. So he's a boss, in other words. Or at least a stronger demon. All demons are damned. Oh, everybody's damned. The VIPs are just comfortably damned. Little perks here and there. Well, okay. Such as they get to keep their genitals. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a pretty good perk, if you ask me. Dude, this music. It's really atmospheric. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, am I playing Gears of War? That little scream there. It's rather cute. Yeah, I should have realized this was not a shotgun ages ago. Oh, hello. It's kind of obvious when you see it. Sit down, sir. Oh, really? How many of you guys is there? I mean, honestly. How many demons are there in hell? Too many, I guess. That's why we're here. Thinning the herd. One soul at a time. Oh, hello. See, look at that stomp. Look at that. Why can't we open boxes like that? Okay. Okay, what have we got going on here then? Well, this looks gribbly and wet. All this wet meat. Mm. Not a lot of dark meat here though. Uh, right, let's go for some hot sake. Maybe a couple. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm coming, baby. Yeah, we're on the way, slowly, but surely. Any of these demon fucktards? Crazy world. Got anything to say? The end of our shotgun kind of looks like a giant penis as well, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a skull. Well, this demon had a bad time. We're going to try and make sure they all have bad times. More demon pubes. Let's find some darkness that gives us a clear shot of the switch. Let's. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Oh, hello. Oof. You know what? Right, so that light uh, barrel explosion doesn't actually hurt us. That's good to know. And you are standing out. Kind of pretty obviously. So, what do you want? You want an eyeball? A hand that barks darkness. And they said this neighborhood was gentrifying. Hmm. So you want a brain. So we need a brain and an eyeball. Okay. Uh, a hand. Oh. Here comes the creeping dark. Okay. So we're not going to have... Ah, oh, there's the brain. We're not going to have a lot of time to do this. So let's aim. Get ready for the impending darkness. Come on, you bastards. In your own time. Come on. It's 
swallow me whole. There we go. Oh god, we've got demons as well. Because of course we have demons as well. Although luckily... No, wrong button. So luckily they don't appear to be able to hit you when you're in that, um, well, when you're aiming, which is quite nice. Get out of my way, bitch. Give me the brain. Can I not pick up the brain? I picked up the brain. Okay. So we actually have a strawberry in our inventory. Oh, that hurts. Man, that hurts. That is way too slow. Jeez. So, I'm guessing we ain't going out that way. Or maybe we can. Uh, so we've got an eyeball up there. Okay. Right, well. Let's light you up. Ooh, come and play. No need to be shy. Give me your gems. Oh. More gems for me. I'm guessing we're going to have to shoot this with a bone, aren't we? And that has an interesting camera angle. Alright. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there, Squire. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, right, yes, of course. Right, let's feed this bastard his brain. Eat well, you bastard. Give me some hearts. Oh, this is not going well. Ugh. Oh, shit. Um. Let me destroy this? What am I missing here? Oh! Okay. We've got to fondle it. Somehow. Got ya. Ooh! Now we need that. We need the ability to just rip those things off the wall. Oh, much better. Hey! Drunken public. So we need to like stab those things. Alright, I got ya. I got ya. So... Yeah, interesting. So you can't go down ladders. Uh, sure I guess? It makes almost zero sense, but we'll, we'll roll with it. Right, so can you only hold X amount of booze as well? What have we been up there? Alright, well, no more dilly-dallying. We've got demons to murder. This bit looks a little bit too close for a demon encounter. Oh, nope. Okay, here goes everything, and we've still got strawberry as well. Hey, take me to hell. Nice. Barrels of light. Yeah, we know. I have no idea how long this game is, actually. Because if... If that visual that we just saw there is an accurate representation, this ain't going to be a long game. Right, we can now we can now buy booze. But I don't think we really need to. Not really. We've got plenty of booze on us. And there she is. Uh 
Oh my. Paula, wait! Stop running, my love! <laughs> Paula, where are you? What the fuck? Demons are afoot. Well, who saw that coming? Well, that is one gribbly mofo. Look at the state of that. Oh, he's eating her. Of course he is. What the shit? Demons like men, Garcia. They all try to get inside the prettiest girl. <laughs> Yes, well, that's the reason I left. <laughs> really? <laughs> if Mr. Man on Monster wants to play, Magnifico. Magnifico. Okay. Why do I get the feeling we're about to have a bad time? Alright. Oh, right. Okay. Get ya. So we have to shoot him in the brain pan. That we can do. Lead him into a barrel of light. Shoot said barrel and then shoot him in the head. Repeatedly, I guess. Makes sense. Come on, you big ugly motherfucker. There we go. What do you think of that, huh? Eh? Well, I mean, I... I hope he's got a little bit more to him than this, because that's a little bit sad so far. Still, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Now, I don't know how much more powerful that this weapon is. Ooh, okay, okay. He does have a little bit of an arsehole to him. We'll give him that. All right, let's see. Aha! There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. No, no, no. We didn't sign up for this. He must be hiding around here somewhere. Hang on. We didn't exactly sign up for this now, did we? Where's that limp dick little prick? Escape to. Ooh! Right, that was it. Okay, got ya. Yeah, I think the boner is probably a better weapon to deal with him. Just seems to be able to get more shots off. Eh, what do you think, huh? You like that? You like that in the face? Message from Xbox, huh? Oh, piss off. I don't care about playing anything with Game Pass right now. Thank you, Xbox. Very kind of you to think about me in this uh, dire financial crisis that we're living in. But I have plenty of games to play. Come on, dickbag. There we go. Oh, that's satisfying. I mean, it's an interesting boss, I suppose. But I... Hmm. 
Definitely expecting a little bit more. I'm guessing he's going to turn the lights out again in a second. <sighs> right, we need to find ourselves another light barrel. There we go. It's just the ticket. Trouble is, how are we going to... Okay. Uh, they do have a bit of a radius to them, but not enough, I guess. Aha! Come on, friend. There you go. What do you think? It, huh? You like that? Of course you do. And he's going to rip the light down again. Okay. Are you seeing the pattern here? Hello? Anybody home? Ah, uh, we'll be fine. I think he's scared of you. He should be, Jay. <laughs> he should be. He fucking should be scared of us. Little bitch. I guess killing innocent women. Oh, I don't know actually. They're in hell, so are they that innocent? Well, I guess. I guess our particular missus is probably innocent. Is about this guy's limit. Apart from that, he's a bit of a bitch. It's a shame, really, we can't, like. I don't know, do some kind of like epic melee kill. Bash his skull in or something. Or maybe you can, to be fair. Right, come on, dick breath. There you go. Step right up. Don't know who exactly you're trying to intimidate, but it sure as shit ain't me. Just gonna keep feeding you this lead surprise. Well, actually, I think we're firing bones at him, so, yeah, no. Ooh, some intestines there. You can get anything at this market, can't you? There we go. <laughs> pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Oh, that's George. Adios, George. In human form. Is that supposed to be at like four frames a second? Huh. Well, we got ourselves a blue gem. Nice rock. Shove it into my face, G. Trust <laughs> me, it doesn't mean we're engaged or anything. Stick it in. Might be a tight fit. Ah, interesting. So what does that do? Blue gems, eh? So, uh, you know what we haven't had for ages? Blue gems let me transform into new tools of war. New what gears of the fuck? In other words, a new weapon. Magnifical. You know, I bet all the VIPs are walking around with blue gems. What the hell, man? That looks awesome. What's holding aim? Yeah. Hold the fire button and enjoy. Oh, how do we use that? The teeth. This is the teeth. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Not bad, I guess. Right. Okay. So we now have more types of ammo to pick up and guessing that's the way we need to go but there has to be like gems or something because we haven't had any upgrades for ages and we're stuck on something huh oh I guess we can't go back another one of these situations where we yeah another one of these situations where we can't go back okay all right let's open the door
Okay, and we're back. Let us continue. Act 2. Cannibal Carnival. Well, that sounds interesting. Oh no, we're on Act 3 now. You know I found Paula in a dumpster, right? What? You uh. said you met her at the supermarket. <laughs> I did. It was what? the pin out behind the dime a dozen. And you just picked her up out of the rubbish and brought her home? Why not? Sometimes I think I hardly know you. <laughs> why no? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, why not, right? I guess. Whatever. Don't judge, Johnson. Who are you to judge? Alright, let's go. Let's give this machine gun a try. This teeth are. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. I think it'll be better once we've had... Ooh. Oh, the reload's quite interesting. Uh, probably be better once we've got a few uh, upgrades for it. But I'm thinking most of my upgrades, at least for the short term, are going to go to health. That seems to be, realistically, a wise investment. Okay. Yeah, don't mind the teeth, actually. It's okay. It's all right. Probably going to get significantly better with some upgrades. These upgrade uh, performance enhancers do... Ooh. The man who never had his fill. Yeah, these performance enhancers do seem to be somewhat rare. I'm guessing they're all going to be pretty sneakily hidden. Had his fill. It was a cold and snowy eve. Certainly no night for a man without a home to be walking these grey and endless streets. Inside the pizza parlour, George Reed spun a lively tune on his harmonica. The local children giggled and pointed excitedly at the harmonica man as their parents glowed with approval. His reward would be all the pizza he could eat, six pies at least, and a warm bed in one of these folks' homes. He knew they were good for it. Ha. Huh. Homeless man plays the harmonica and gets fed pizza and gets a bed for the night. Seems innocent enough, I guess. But when he tucked in for the night, George had not had his fill. Mm-hmm. As the years and calories stacked up, most men would have got older and fatter. Yet for all he consumed, George only got thinner as he washed from town to town. Tapeworm. Mm. Tonight, he plied his <laughs> trade with some grannies and orderlies in a nursing home. hoo -ha! His harmonica filled the room with joy. After devouring three helpings of pork chops and mashed potatoes, he eyed the plate of the old woman next to him. Juice dribbled down his chin. <laughs> Go ahead, Georgie, she said. <laughs> You're such a good boy, you shouldn't have to starve. <laughs> I need uh, gin for this. <laughs> Go ahead, Georgie. Okay. But George had not had his fill. Early the next morning, he was already on the freeway with his thumb in the air. Where are you headed? said the man in the truck. Nowhere, said George. Anywhere. Okay. It was a new decade, and tonight George played to an all but empty bar in the city. He had lost a lot of weight. Afterwards, the only woman in the joint took the stool next to him and asked him his name. The bartender leaned over the counter. You don't know this guy, Mary. George is famous, been all over the tri state area. With a wink, he added, Man's insatiable. Mm-hmm. Go on. And that night, George proved it as he buried his face in Mary's beaver. <laughs> Holy wooden creatures! And a boy, George! And a boy, George! <laughs> Play that harmonica, she purred. But even after five trips to heaven and back, he had not had his fill. The morning after was an awkward affair as they stared at each other over coffee. One wanted to feel more, the other just wanted to feel. Ooh, okay. This guy's obviously some kind of demon, or he's cursed or something. 
In his final days, George was all skin and bones. I can relate, except for the skin part. Mm. His last meal had been a mistake. It was on a sidewalk one night in a small suburban town that he came across the boy. Hungrily, and with an agonized grimace, he opened his mouth to beg for help. <laughs> Out came a cacophony of wheezes and toots, but the boy understood. Wait, you mean Jorge ate his harmonica? Once he was alone, George Reed looked at the candy bar he held in one hand and began to cry. <laughs> They found George's half-eaten body in a market next town over. In one hand, he held a knife. In the other, a fork. Chunks of flesh had been torn from his chest and his arms. Blood framed an eerie smile. The wind that morning blew fierce, and as it whistled through the hole he'd carved out of his own neck, the harmonica man played his last song in this world. There were gawkers, and many knew him. They shared stories of how he'd filled them with hope, filled them with life. They, at least, had had their fill. <clears throat> Especially Mary. The end. Poor George. Now, wait a second. <clears throat> wait. Ooh, we just rolled over. Wait one second. So, George, I'm guessing that's the story of the guy that we defeated. That's why he's always trying to get inside people and eat them. All right. That was very, very cool. That was incredibly cool. Okay, well, let's keep going. Poor George. Maybe we'll come back to him and give him his fill. Ooh. Oh, that's to jump in the window, I guess. Kind of. Not really sure why that prompt came up when I wasn't looking at the window, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Ooh, something new. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Right, well, we'll have none of that. Oh, God. Oh, God. There, we actually hit him, finally. Son of a bitch, you little bastard. Would you kindly bust a cap in those mother fudges before they douse the lights? <laughs> Would you kindly? Would have been better with an Irish accent, but sure. And you, sir. These imps don't seem to be too bothered about attacking me. Which is curious. But they do take some killing. Never finished talking about you kidnapping Paula. I didn't kidnap her. You hauled her out of a skip. Isn't that illegal in some states? <laughs> what did she say? Nothing. Not for weeks. I was afraid to even touch her, you know? Like she didn't belong to me. To anyone. But something changed. There was a phone call. Well, I don't think your partner ever truly belongs to you. I mean, that's kind of odd. But, you know. Okay. I mean, free will and all that. Free will is an illusion, but... You can't just own another human being. That doesn't appear to be an awful lot of too much here. Ah, hey, Willy. A one-eyed wonder. Speaking of phones, put that on hold, G. We've got company. Ah, oh, bloody hell. More imps. Look, can you... Yeah, can you not keep putting my light out? I'm just saying, dude, I need that light more than you. And they take a lot of shots. Yeah. They really take a lot of shots. Now you, you little shit. Oh, great. You know, this is going to get rather tiresome from you, isn't it? I can already see it. 
Oh god damn it, they take a lot of killing as well. Right, he's dead. Imbecile. I do like that little backhand we can give these guys. Very satisfying. Where are you going? Oh my god, the aiming! It's so bloody bad. It's awful. Trying to aim at something in five frames a second is not a good time. Right, what's going on over here? Ooh, more griblies. You know, we might need something with a bit more bites. Ooh, that's what we're talking about. Now that makes a mess. And another. There we go. Get sourced up. There we go. What's this about a phone call? Me and Paula were eating when the Paula. Phone Suddenly, she slams her fork down and says, "Don't answer it." Creepy. First thing she mm. never said to me. But I got up to take the call. Johnson, you should have seen her. She jumped out of her chair, ran to the phone, and ripped it right off the wall. Whoa. Then she came and put her arms around me and started crying. It was the craziest, weirdest sexiest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> I have been hers ever since. Okay. So who... Oh, hello. Please don't eat my face. So who's on the other side of the phone, eh? Well... I was going to say that demon's been eating ass, but that doesn't look like ass. So we can't go through there. I wonder if these are anything. These weird mirrors that we come across. No, they're not like portals to anywhere extra. They don't have any goodies locked away. No. They're just empty rooms. Apparently. Or just decoration. Well, that looks grisly. Ooh. Teeth kill. Apparently. What are you smiling about? Teeth kill. Demons don't like teeth. The gun laws here are very strict. Haven't you wondered why they don't shoot back? You and I are violating almost every rule in the book. Heck, I'm practically made of teeth. <laughs> so teeth. Ooh. Teeth are contraband. Okay. I can get behind that logic. Personally, I like having teeth. It does make certain aspects of life significantly easier. Would recommend teeth for sure. I've got the feeling that you don't know where you're going. Ooh, a red upgrade gem. Yes. I'm guessing that we have missed so many freaking gems. So we can do the Tifa. I think the capacity is pretty good and the reload on it is pretty good. It's just... be nice if it did a little bit more damage. Torch. Hmm... Although, health is nice. We like having a big, thick, girthy health bar. And it looks like we should be able to kick through there. Expecting any phone calls? No, sirree. Maybe it's from Paula. Or at least someone with answers. I don't think we're going to find any answers anytime soon. Or maybe Dios we will. Mio. Paula, is that you? Ah, uh, no. I think From we're just getting started. Just like that. From Hottie to Hamburger. <laughs> oh, man. Right, anyway, I'm going to end this here, guys, because we are out of time. Uh, this game is almost too delicious. Uh, <laughs> um, the only thing I'm concerned about is missing all these red gems, which I'm sure we have.
Um, but if this game has like a new game plus mode where you can go back through with all the upgrades and continue to collect more upgrades, I'm going to enjoy that a whole load. I really am. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, until next time.